kind of in the concept of radios you know radios used to just be one individual frequency and it was you were locked into that so as technology changes kind of like that stereo system cd players become more common so you had to get another radio for a different frequency or you had to get a cd player for your rack system eventually over a period of time what we spent a lot of money on for that rack system has really turned into what you can actually get on your phone these days mp3 music digital music all through something that's been shrunk down to something that you can hold in the palm of your hand in the same concept with radios, it's come the same way. Back when low band was a frequency, the radios were big, bulky, clunky things and specifically did one frequency or one area of frequency. And now as things have changed, new frequencies have been incorporated, made available to public safety. They meld these things together so you're no longer taking all these components to make that big rack system and they're incorporating it into one tri-band antenna that allows you to multiple frequencies through the use of just the one radio system. And of course, using our antenna, it's gonna match that network so you have best performance on whatever frequency you're operating in. Now with the tri-band radio, things have changed. Uh, they've gotten much smaller. So for us, uh, obviously to incorporate another frequency into a tri-band is challenging. Luckily enough, we've been able to get it so we can match the frequency requirements that the radio is making. So along with getting smaller, they've gone from a couple of ports per frequency. One would think a tri-band radio with three ports, but they've actually condensed it down so it's a single input to the back of the tri-band radio. So we've eliminated couplers and combiners to split out frequencies to individual ports on radios. Now it's just a single feed right into the back of the radio. Pretty much the design of our systems have changed too. You know, we used to be concerned about couplers to, to match whatever ports they needed for the radios. Now it's just a single feed line. Psycho products are made here in the USA. You know, from a competitive edge, you know, we like to compare our products to some of the foreign cheaper models that are on the market. You know, the value added for the made in the USA, they do have certain requirements in which uh, material will be purchased from countries that manufacture and are based here in the United States. There is always an advantage purchasing within a um, made in the USA style company. Not to mention quality too. You know, a lot of times you can look at a product that's made overseas, perhaps a little bit cheaper than something else that's on the market. But when you get that product and you're not really surprised if you're honest with yourself that it's maybe not of the highest grade quality that you could have gotten from somewhere made in the States here.